Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Techland stream. My name is Maciej Binkowski, I'm lead game designer for Dying Light. Together with me is Paweł Modliński. Hello everyone. We also have some additional crew behind the scenes. Behind the camera actually is Tomek Wikliński. There you go, that's Tomek's hand, magic hand. Uh, we also have Mike Napora right over there, uh, ready to answer all your questions on the chat. And our two pilots, pilot and co-pilot. Gameplay masters. Uh, Przemek Rus and Karol Sapinski, they're going to be playing the game. And the game, of course, is Dying Light. But this time around, we want to show you Dying Light latest expansion, the following. Uh, one more thing, big shout out to Razer. Thank you for all the awesome gear. Now, I think we're finally ready. Enough introductions, enough yep, that talking. Was, that was Let's see the game. Let's go. All right, so we're in a cave that's gonna lead us to our new area, the countryside. Um, yeah. Okay. So just, just a note for you guys. Uh, you are still playing as Carl Crane. So this is not a new character. This is just a new region and a new storyline. <laughs> now we're gonna be going to talk to our friends, right? Yeah, well, we, sh we should hit it. There. Oh, there he is. I'm back. And I did my part of the deal. Now it's your turn. No worries. I got the info you wanted. You were right, it is a cult. They pray to a mother beloved by the god of the sun. Call themselves her children, draw symbols on everything, have their own rituals. Yeah, I saw some of those symbols on my way here. And? And I'll tell you the rest when you get here. Fine. Let me grab my car. Okay. Cool. So, just in a second, we should be able to see... There it is! Ta-da! Welcome to the countryside! Everything that you see here, guys, is playable. So, as you can see, this new area is pretty vast. That's why we're gonna need a car. Yep, and that was Haran, I think, we saw over the water in the distance, right? Absolutely. Now, our car should be waiting down... The valley, there. yeah. Yeah, down that valley, so we're gonna try to... Follow that cliff and find a swoop, yep, safe way to get down. Now, as far as I understand, the, the story here actually is that uh, we had some info, right, about the... Yeah, so there's the a call. very oh, interesting yeah. rumor that apparently there's a group of people who supposedly are immune to the disease. Um, okay, we don't really know if crazy. it's true. We don't know if they're like naturally immune or if they found a way to somehow deal with the problem. But what we know is that the lead is interesting enough to start digging. So here we're going to try to meet our friend who has some really interesting info on that group. But first we have to meet him. Now imagine playing this on VR. Uh, I, I would it. probably crap my pants. <laughs> there should be a guy like pouring water over you right now. <laughs> Hey, do you ever do that? Like when when someone uh, goes underwater oh, in the nice. in the in the movie, you go always go like, oh yeah, and yeah. you and you keep and you and you try to keep you know not breathing, just like the character. I actually got a little like a bit of vertigo when I when I look down the. I always the do that. I don't know. Most of the time, I fail. Like the characters <laughs> stay underwater forever. All right, we're out. So, let's get that car. Yep. Now the cult you mentioned, uh, from what I talked to other like guys in production, this is going to be a pretty huge thing uh, in the following, right? In the nine light, the following. Now, apart from the rumor, those are parts of... I this must be the right? mother beloved by the god of the sun. Yes, so uh, that's one of the shrines erected by the cult. Uh, well, we don't really know who they are, if they have anything to do with the aliens or, you know, tinfoil hat. Yeah, we're gonna find out soon enough. Here's where our car was supposed to be. Shit, shit! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Some asshole stole my ride! What happened to those peaceful, hard-working people you told me about? Damn, bet it was the bandits. Those fuckers kick people off of their farms, steal whatever ain't nailed down, and leave. I had my weapons in there, too. Well, check some farms nearby. You'll probably find something with a pointy end. And with a little luck, maybe even your car. Yeah, this, this scene actually reminds me about this really old, and well, not that old, but kind of bad movie. Remember the movie, Dude, Where's My Car? I don't think I watched no. that. 
Okay, how about how about you guys? You guys, you have you, have you seen, dude? Where's my car? That's totally appropriate here. Anyway, um, right. As you can see, zombies are still there. Um, some new interesting ways oh, to kill them. That actually move. Nice. Of course it does. Oh jeez. <laughs> All this time. Nice. Uh, so yeah, now we're doing looking for weapons and a car, right? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, somebody took our car, our gear was in it, so we're stuck with this not so cool hammer. So we're gonna try to search a nearby farm and see if we can find something better. Um, I don't know if you notice on the on the top right corner we have our mini map and there's a little white icon. On the chest. Yeah, so that's how we indicate a possible loot stash. And yeah, check this out. Still, Still bolt. bolt. Cool, so as you guys see, even though it's like new content, a lot of new stuff we're going to be showing you, the core of Dying Light is still right here, right? So looting, surviving, uh, you're going to be finding tons of crafting stuff. There will be, I think, new bl blueprints from what I heard. Absolutely. So all the good and, and cool and, and the parkour, it's all, all there. All there. But for now, let's see if we can find anything cool inside this farm. As you can see, Survivor Sense still here. Let's check out that basement. Looks, Looks kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, but a kit's always useful. Yeah, it can never have enough of those. Just a pouch. Not bad. Yeah, well. And, yeah, well, and look, fun. nothing. Yay, I love those. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, as you can see, like the farm's Pretty busted, so no survivors here apparently. But I think there's something upstairs. Yeah, there's banging up. Surprise, surprise! Zombies! Let's kill that thing. Ooh, listen. I can never have enough of slow mo. Okay. Ah, and here we have our partner. Nice. Ready to plunder. Like a normal pe person through a window in the roof. Yeah. Oh, look at this. So cute. Oh. Our artist must have had a pretty fun time coming up with those. Or their children. Or their children, yeah. Cool, some new stuff. Okay. Might come handy. And here comes the really interesting part. My favorite. So guys, this is for you. You asked for it. We're very happy to deliver. Here's the crossbow. Yep, probably the crossbow confirmed. Crossbow <laughs> confirmed, yeah. The top weapon you guys asked us for in like Facebook polls and stuff like that. So here it is. And we're, I think we can actually do some killing with it just to show it off a bit. Yeah, you, guys, show you, the you, guys, you guys do a little competition. Okay, let's see who's the better shot. So as you can see, uh, we're bringing the competi competitive challenges back. Uh, they're just going to be enhanced with all the new weapons and activities that you can do in the following. Oh, come on, man, take the shot. No, I think the teasing move. Come on, try my, oh, nice steal. Bolt right from the in side. the face, right in the face. All right. All right, kill it. Come on, ah, I think he's kill teasing. it. Uh, he's kill it. <laughs> and there you go. That's what yeah. you get for toying with your food. Could have won. All right, one hundred percent. I guess we could spend some time finishing them off. Yeah, I guess. Or should we just? Because it's like really satisfying chunk when you just yeah. I, I love loose. I love it. Oh, and the cool thing is that you know, did you know that you can actually retrieve some of the bolts? Some of them break on impact, but oh, so it's like a very. Uh, I think we've got a situation there. Yeah, you gotta pay, pay close attention for okay. your bolts. And that's pretty cool though, then you've got like a lot of ammo that you can reuse if you can clear the zombies, right? Yes. Or if you can be fast enough to pick them up. Oh, yeah. oh. oh no, right. that's teasing. Like, oh, dude, just finish, just finish him off. Oh. <laughs> All right. That was showing off, right? Nice job, just, guys. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit of showing off. Nice job, guys. Oh, yeah, so, so that's, that's yeah. trying to picking up the stuff and, and I think sticking the bolts. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's get, let's get that car back. Yeah, we're equipped now. Oh, that's a ton of zombies. It's Crane. Yeah. 
I just saw what happened at one of those farms. It was a slaughterhouse. Yeah, those goddamn bandits just come, take, leave. Good news is, they're probably not far from your position. Oop, missed. Uh, okay, I just run for it, I guess. There's a tunnel. Or, tunnel. or you could just jump on him and get back on the pipes. Or, oh. or not. Oh, or the boss, I guess. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Whatever works. Whatever works. It's your game, you play it your way. Okay, but I think we're almost through just starting with the last one. Nice. Oh, and it seems like we have another loose stash here. Yeah, and there's a like train, seems, looks, if you take a look back at it. Yep, there we Military go. origin, yeah. Those, I think, were transplanting stuff uh, through the countryside into Haran, so there's some... That? Oh! And there's something. Oh, by the way, some of you ask if we're gonna bring the big guys back, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. Guess that's enough for an answer? Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll get back to that later, but yeah. The big guys are making a return in the following. All right, let's uh, let's check the inside of the car. Zoom. There we go. So another stuff that you guys requested was to bring more variety to for uh, to the firearms department. So here we go. That's one of the new firearms, the SMG. And um, yeah, we're actually focusing the gameplay. We're shifting the gameplay a little bit more. Towards shooting, so that you can, you guys can ut uh, utilize all the new weapons. Yeah. Um, I think you guys have not you guys, you guys. <laughs> uh, I think you have enough weapons uh, to get our car back. Let's yeah. just uh, I okay. Think let's a, yeah. There was an icon for the yeah. Encounter. So let's let's check that encounter very quickly. Hey, you ever see that mother they talk about? Nah. You think she even exists? They wouldn't paint her face on every damn rock if she didn't. Thing. How about how about we Shit. do it the quiet yeah, way? Like, yeah, in John Rambo style, they're setting for it. I no? heard some of them talking. Though. You guys, you guys don't feel like it? She sounds like the real deal. So what are you gonna what oh, are you gonna do? Bullshit, me nuts. Well, let's see. Okay. I mean, <laughs> just, do it your way. <laughs> All right, that's, that's, I, would, I would totally go. Uh, whatever works. Uh, now yeah, there's something new popped up. What was that? Um, that's uh, a new system that we're introducing at Trust, so for every action that you do that benefits the community present in the following, you get number of trust points. If you get enough, they start talking to you, they open up, but I'll tell uh, a little bit more about it. I'll okay, yeah, well, let's, get, let's get back to it. I think okay. we're almost at the bandit yeah, hideout. Yeah, so that's the, that's the bandit hideout. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna climb up that tower, we should be able to see our vehicle from here, and um, yeah, we can plan our attack from there. Let's see what our commandos are gonna do. With. How about crossbow this time around, guys, all right? Crossbow. All right, I can see them, and my ride. Listen, I can tell you everything you wanna you. know about this cult when you get here, but you won't be able to do shit with this info until the locals trust you. So if I was one of those farmers, it would make me really fucking happy if someone taught those bandits a thing or two. Ooh, I love that thing. Nice. I love it. Okay, so they're going in. Yeah, guys are in. Silently. And not, I think not really. the stealth not, is up. Yeah, not really. So, hey. uh, all right, guys, you just have to deal with that. Oh, nice shot. Okay. Oh yeah, the SMG time. No need, no, no need for subtleties anymore. Dude, you should aim. Like, really, it helps. All right. Almost there. Just one dude left. Uh, oh, I think they let the they, zombies in. Yeah, you broke the fence and you're making a lot of noise with those guns, so... Yeah, I guess That's just a good hoof, call. hoof it for the car, yeah. Just leave it. Oh, and we've got a man or down. Or not. So you gonna, you gonna help him? You gonna help? Yeah. A hero. Yeah, good. What a good friend you are. All right. There you go, buddy. Get yep. up. Okay. Get up. Cool. Okay. Finally. Let's 
let's, let's drive. get out of there let's and drive. show you the okay. vehicles. My ride back. Now what? I don't know, we'll talk more about man. it later on, right? Cool. There's a shit ton of zombies outside the game. I just camp. went through the game. The you get here, the better. <laughs> True friend. True friend. Right. Oh, by the way, uh, the buggies are fully customizable. Um, and I don't mean only the libraries oh. and pain you have to drive, you know. Uh, but also there's a ton of stuff that you can put on them. So like you want spikes or extra lamp, UV lamps to fight nighttime zombies and more on many. Yep, I heard some pretty fun stuff is coming to, to Dying Light the following in terms of buggy upgrades. Absolutely, can't tell too many details just yet. Just know they're coming. There we go, that's the following. Just to sum things up, new expansion with new story, new quests, new challenges, uh, fun favorite weapons, and of course the customizable buggy. And a new map. And of course the new map, the countryside. Yep. Big, so big, big map. Pretty big, yeah. So as we were talking like to the press guys, we actually did some maps in-house. In, in and it turned out like the whole area of, of, the fo of Dying Light, the following, then the map itself is the size of all areas from Dying Light combined. So, pretty huge. Yeah. Cool. Right. Now, I guess uh, we're ready for questions. Yeah, we're ready. Now, a, a bit ago, Michal asked you some questions on Twitter and, uh, and on Facebook, and we wanted you guys to, to shoot your questions at us. So, we've got quite a few of those prepared, and now we're going to talk about them. So, uh, okay. I, I have no idea how to read that. Uh, I'll just slaughter it then. Uh, Rutan Monkhard, and I'm really sorry if I slaughtered that, that name. Uh, the question is, will you be able to play Be the Zombie on the map in the following DLC? That's a very interesting question, and this is something we love you guys to do. Um, at this point, we have a lot of challenges to figure out. There's just, uh, it's a completely new map. Uh, we've got the vehicle gameplay, so there's just a lot of stuff to figure out. Uh, so currently we're focusing on delivering the human experience, if I can put it that way. Uh, yeah, just the core gameplay, right? Yeah, the core gameplay, we'll see. Uh, I can't promise you anything at, at this point. Yeah, I guess we'd love to, but yeah. as you guys already noticed, a huge open map, vehicles, not exactly Night Hunter friendly right now. So I'm going to try to come up with some stuff, but no promises right now. Yeah. Okay. All right, next question. Uh, Niko Demnovak, will demolishers spawn in the following? I love those. Well, we love those too, so <laughs> absolutely. They will be there. And how long will this DLC be? I like long. Question from Yuri Maria Sakazaki. I hope I <laughs> say it right. Uh, great, great accent. Thank yeah. you. Um, so, how long? Um, Tough question, right? Open world game. All right, so if you would just, if you would just go f straight from point A to B to point B to, to finish the story, that's going to be 10 plus hours. That's what we're aiming for. Um, if, if you want to complete all the activities and stuff, that's definitely going to take you, take you more time. Yeah, considerably longer. Now, Ian Smouter, now, can we have a chainsaw? It's a good question. Very good question. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one is even <laughs> better. Uh, Alex PLF, when is soon? Uh, yeah, where is soon? That's another very good question. In the question. future. Uh, when it's ready, when it's ready. Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, like, that's, we, we uh, can't that's, give you... that's all we can say, yeah, that's how can... specific we can get. We can't, we can't give you anything more specific. Uh, Kyle Ennis, uh, are you going to be able to drive through ur urban areas as well? Combined with a few well-placed ramps, it could, be a fu uh, it could be fun. Now, are the buggies going to be available at night as well? All right, so this is actually three questions. Uh, go, I'm gonna go start, for them. I'm going to start from the last one. Yes, uh, the buggies are going to be available at night. 
Uh, absolutely, it's, it's, it is fun to drive on ramps. Uh, we already have those, as you could see in the demo. Yep. Uh, drive through urban areas. Um, well, the new area is countryside, and it has a number of different sub-areas, if I can yep. put it that way. Farms, industrial areas, stuff like that. The I don't seaside know if, city as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that answers the question. I hope so. Yeah, I'd say like, as far as I'm concerned, this counts as urban areas. So there's a lot of that, like narrow, narrow roads, uh, stuff like that. Uh, however, just, just to be clear with you guys, you won't actually be able to take the buggy for a ride in Old Town or, or in the slums. Yes. All right, next question. From Michael Anya. Bolton, right? Michael, Michael Bolton, really? Yeah, yeah. that's, that's awesome. exactly the... Nice. Will, will there, there be... Sorry. Go, go, go ahead. I want to take, take this. Uh, will there be UV lights on the buggy for night driving zombie hunting? Yes, as an upgrade, one of the planned ones. So yes, you will be able to do all the UV face blasting you did in the core game just this time with a car. Or use it as a mobile safe zone. Yeah. Or whatever you guys figure out. All right, uh, Anya, Anya, are we going to be able to explore the map without doing a quest? I mean, the opposition to the Boz Accord, and can we do the following without the car, or is it essential to complete the DLC? Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, we kind of think that the car is the hero of this expansion. So the skills, the blueprints all revolve around the car, so it it is essential to the, to yeah, the expansion. Yeah, without it, it's gonna be pretty tough. Um, but here's an interesting thing. Instead of the game requiring you to complete a chain of quests, so it's like you, go, you have to go to do quest A and then quest B and then quest C, this time around we're offering you an ability to do number of activities that, uh, that own you trust. You need to gain enough trust to push the story forward, to gain trust of this of this community, to you know, to for them to open up, to talk to, uh, to you, to to offer you new quests. But which activities you choose to do and how and when, that's all up to you. Yeah. So basically, whatever you want to do, you can do, and you will be able to progress through uh, through the map. Well, as you said, without doing a specific quest, right? It's not Boz Accord, it's, it's, it's a very, very open map yes. with a lot of activities you can do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Cool. The next one is from Twitter this time, so we'll switch to Twitter. Now, Luke Malia uh, asks us, how fast can the buggies go? So, um, I don't, don't have the I don't, numbers. I don't, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to give a, a, an exact number because it's, uh, we're still balancing it. They, I don't know <laughs> if it's a good enough answer. They're pretty fast. They're pretty fast and you can upgrade them so you can make them even faster. Yep. Yeah, so that's all I can say, sorry. They're gonna be awesome to drive, that we can promise. Yes. Cool, the next one is from Nick. Uh, now, will our current character inventory be available to us in the DLC? Will it have Easter eggs and will there be new outfits? Again, three questions. Um, and that's easy three answers. All right, so first, will our current inventory be available in the DLC? Yes. Uh, what's even more cool, the stuff that you find in the following, you can actually take back to and play it with on Slums and Old Town. Yep. Uh, will it have Easter eggs? We'll have to find out. <laughs> Will there be new outfits? Yes. yes. Quite a few of them. Okay, the next one from Alien4131. Now, will Dying Light ever have a third-person view? Uh, I don't... It, the, you know, it says like, never say never, but for now I say... Rather not... Rather, nev <laughs> rather never. <laughs> Ra rather never. Uh, cool. Uh, the next one from, from Alien as well. Will there be more vehicles in the future? Oh, that's a very interesting question. Uh, maybe we don't we don't know. For now, we're focusing on the buggy and we're trying to make it as cool as possible. What happens in the future, we will see. But Time as you guys time. saw or heard us talking, there's going to be upgrades. There's going to be a driver skill tree. Uh, so we really want to make sure that the buggy is done basically as good as possible before we move on into any like other projects, right? Cool. Uh, and the next one from Pons908, can you get the crossbow if you don't have the DLC? I'm afraid not. If you want mm -hmm. the crossbow, you get the DLC. But here's the cool thing, if you have, uh, if you are the owner of the season pass, you get the following for free. Exactly. Of course you will be, if you don't, you will be able to buy it separately, but for any of you who already play the game, already played the season pass, you're just gonna get it when it comes out. Alright, next question. Dimitri cringes. 
Um, will you have to complete the main story of Dying Light to play the new, LC, the new DLC? Okay, that's, that's an interesting No. Thing. No, but. There's always a but. Yep. Um, um, the difficulty of content in the following is going to be scaled towards the players who already finished the game. So I would say it's advisable, yep. but you're gonna be fine if you don't feel like it. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, you, you, you can of course jump right in, but also the other thing I think is the rough timelines. Now, of course, this is a new story. The only like link is, is Kyle Crane. However, it happens roughly after the events of, of Dying Light, which means while you won't really spoil her too much for yourself, we'd advise you to, to complete at least the main story before jumping into, into Dying Light the following. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's cool. Out, out. Uh, Brandon Woods now. Now, is there anything in the following that you think will surprise fans and add a new feel to the game? Well, I certainly hope all the stuff that we're adding is going to surprise you guys and you're going to have a blast with it. Yep, though we did just show you quite a few stuff, <laughs> things from the, from the expansion packs. Yeah, so. And there's more coming. And there's more coming as well, yeah. So we didn't like show all our cards right here, right now. Right, so, so stay tuned. Stay tuned, exactly. Oh, and here is my favorite fan of all time, <laughs> Brian Hall. How you doing, Brian? Um, okay, so here's a question from Brian. Uh, besides Kyle, will we see any returning characters? Uh, maybe, but... Well, maybe some cameos, appearances like that, but... But basically, yeah. the story of the following is a branching story, so all new characters, the only one that really... Connects the connects whole, like, two storylines. Yep. And another question from Brian Hall, awesome. Um, how long after the events of Dying Light is the following set? So we'll basically... Yeah, game. as, as really I said, it's, it's not a very specified timeline, it's roughly after the, the events of the main storyline. Right, so, um, and another one. Is that the last one? No, we have, we still have more? Yeah, that's the last one. That's the last one, all right. Last question from Alice Watson. Um, how will we get to the following area? Will there be a poster like how you get to and from the slams down? Yeah, kind of like that. There's going to be as far there's going to be an NPC that's going to tell you about. I think there's stuff. actually going to be a quest that you will need to yeah. undertake before you're able to to switch to the new area. So you progress through that quest, the new area unlocks, and there you go. There you go. Okay, guys. So that was it in terms of Q and A. Uh, I guess let's do another recap of of what we just saw, what we just did. So dying light the following, a huge expansion pack. It's a whole new map, new story, uh, a whole new, new storyline with Kyle Crane, new quests, new activities, new weapons, including fighting favorites, so uh, the crossbow, new firearms as well, uh, and of course the customizable buggy. Yep, uh, and the trust system you talked about, which is pretty cool actually. Yes. Uh, now all of that is going to be available like as a separate purchase for you guys for $14.99 uh, in euro or dollar. It might switch a bit depending on where you're from. Uh, now, all of that, of course, will be available for anyone who bought the season pass just for free. We're just giving it away and we hope you guys will like it. Yeah, and it's coming out for PC, Xbox PS4, One, and Xbox PS4. One soon. Soon. Okay, guys, uh, it was lovely to have you here. Uh, now we're gonna play some trailers we, had, uh, we have ready for Dying Light and Dying Light the following. And then after that, we're gonna immediately do a rebroadcast re for any of you who tuned in later or, or just skipped the thing. Uh, and of course, the recording of this uh, this Twitch stream is gonna be available on YouTube, so so you can share it with your friends later on if you need if you want to. Cool. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.